Number one. Number one is just combining like terms. So eight and five are thirteen. That's the real part of the complex number. Eight and five are just regular numbers. You can combine them. And then we'll do the imaginary number. It's a negative um, i plus 4i will make 3i. And that's the imaginary part. Combine the real parts and the imaginary part. So this next part really is only applicable to, um, you know, any working in electricity. So we all use electricity, we just need to make sure all of us have, a, you know, some basic understanding of how it works. <clears throat> So this is a lot of vocabulary. <clears throat> Circuit components are resistors, inductors, and capacitors. Those three things oppose the flow of current. And you're about to watch a video that explains that when a metal wire gets electrons like that are available, like you've learned about how um, like atoms might have like extra electrons that make it able to like drop or gain electrons. Does that sound familiar a little bit? Like counting the number of electrons on the outer ring of an atom, right? And if there's more than the atomic number, then they might lose them or gain them. Anybody? Okay. So if there's available electrons, they'll grab onto that, that metal and they'll move, and that's the current. So these, um, these things oppose current, and that's called resistance. And that's why we hear in electricity, we talk about resistors and reactors um, for inductors and capacitors. Okay, so this is the symbol for resistor. This is the symbol for an inductor. And this is the symbol for a capacitor when we look at a circuit. So these symbols are important for the problem. Resistance, um, capital R, inductor, capital L, capacitor, capital C. Now, Ohms, it says this is a um, measurement of these resistance. So for resistors, the number stays real. For inductors, there's an imaginary I next to it. And for capacitors, it's negative and imaginary. That's what this table is telling you. The table shows the relationships between the resistance reactants and its con contribution to impedance. So take a look at this. This is like um, electricity flowing through. And this is a circuit, an alternating circuit that can have electricity flowing in or out. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to match this symbol to this table. So this is like a, a spiral. So this um, is the inductor. And for inductor, you're supposed to take the number and put an I with it. So this actually is 3I. And for this symbol, this is the resistor. Resistor doesn't have I or negative, so this is just going to stay the value of 5. This is the capacitor, and the value for the capacitor is supposed to be negative imaginary. So instead of 4, we're going to do negative 4i. 
when we're trying to total these values up. So it says find the impedance of the series circuit. In here they did 5, 3i, and negative 4i. And from there it was just combining like terms to find the impedance of the circuit. So while it's all very complicated vocabulary, it's really just combining like terms in addition and looking at a table. Okay, so let's do number 49 real quick. This is actually from your assignment today. So I want you to turn to page um, 206 and try number 49. <laughs> this will be the start of your assignment. Tool? Anybody? Anybody willing to share when they've seen it or somebody use it? Kind of, huh? This symbol is the resistor, the number stays real. This symbol is the capacitor, the number is a negative I. This symbol is the inductor, you're just supposed to use I with the number. So I'm talking about the number in front. So you match the symbols to the vocabulary and you figure out, well, should the number stay real? Should it go negative I or should it be I? So the resistor then is um, stays real, so that's going to stay at 12. The capacitor becomes negative with an I. So instead of 7, I'm going to do negative 7I. And I'm sorry if this isn't the same order you're doing it. It's okay. In the inductor, this curly Q um, symbol is a 9, and we're supposed to use I with it. Okay, I just noticed that these like change order. Okay, so the real is the 12, and the imaginary will be 2i. And this is impedance. Raise your hand if you got it right. Yes, electrical engineers. All right, now I'm going to show you uh, um, this video provided by the textbook. It's very wordy. Um, and it might seem crazy now, but at some point you might really understand this, so.
So we're just gonna mark the location here. So now I'm going to take this out of frame and I'm going to turn it to the end of the screen. It's like the second of the second screen. So I'm going to add um, another one of these pieces of text. So I'm going to add Down. 
Negative two times four. Negative two times one is one plus negative two times one. So that part is just like that. It's the combined part of the two. <laughs> Same thing. Minus one i. And then here, I'm going to take i squared out and put it in the denominator. <coughs> By definition, i squared is a constant. So two squared minus one is one squared. Negative times one is one plus negative one. And then I'm going to bring these constants my final answer is plus one minus one is one. A complex solution. So the next is going to be a different answer. I'm going to have to put that in there. And again, I, I do want you to have options if you want to do this one and still reason about it instead of just no options. Um, and I didn't show it anymore, but it's right in the center here in this important part, so you can get the problem. And so we're going to go to zero. It came up in the third quarter of this year, so I thought I'd show it. complex number, you multiply by the conjugate. This word conjugate means it's the same expression with the opposite sign. So the conjugate of 2 plus i is 2 minus i. So it's the same expression, but it's specifically, it's the, um, the imaginary part has the opposite <laughs> sign. So with a positive and a negative, if we multiply these, there'll be like a canceling out effect. 
So the conjugate is like a really powerful math tool. With the opposite sign, we'll be able to cancel a term out. So when I look at 39, there's nothing in the directions that give me indi any indication as to what's wrong with it. It says write the answer in standard form. And you're looking at it like, well, that looks pretty standard. I don't know. So we have to come to the problem knowing somehow we have to get the i to the top of the fraction. So we're going to do 2 minus i on top and 2 minus i down below. And if you execute that correctly, it's very cool. You'll no longer have an imaginary denominator. It really works well. And I'm out of room for it, so. to put it in parentheses because you need to distribute. I'm going to distribute the 10 to both the 2 and the minus i. And then in the denominator, <clears throat> this is so important. You have to deal with people when they just cracked this multiplying in that cross section. It got pulled so easy to get. So this is 2 plus i times 2 minus i. I times 2 is probably going to be a lot. <coughs> I times new is not going to be negative I squared. Who's got a question on any of this stuff? I want to make sure we're really clear on this stuff. So it's cool what we have in here. If you FOIL correctly, in the middle you have opposites that cancel. That's the power of the conjugate. It creates opposites. So these two are canceling each other out. And then here, I squared becomes negative 1. So I'm going to replace that with I squared is negative 1. And then the signs here just get tricky. You have to be really careful and deliberate. So I got 4, cancel, cancel, minus sign. I'm not going to write I squared. I'm going to write negative 1. Careful you don't drop sign. Okay, so we end up with a real denominator, just a plain old five. <laughs> so we can divide something into five equal parts. Like that makes a lot more sense than the denominator that we started with. <clears throat> I am going to rewrite this. Just the numbers stay this way. It gets you to hear this way. It's just funny in the context of the book. So I'm going to go one step further. Four minus two i. Wow, so it took a lot of work, but we changed 10 over 2 plus i to this. 
4 minus 2i. So this is said to be more standard. It's just less complicated than this whole fraction. Mm -hmm. So if you just like multiply the next one and then one minus 2i, did you just parallelize Are you talking about number 41? Yeah, that's a FOIL. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that was the question about the future. Does anybody have a question about this one? Okay, you guys um go on. I'm gonna do 41 next, unless you guys want me to jump to like maybe 45 next. I'm gonna do 41 next. Okay, so I'll give you a moment to try it um on your own and I'll do 41. Thank you. 